What we have here is a uh, 1920s vintage Magnavox horn speaker. It's a uh, it's an R3 uh, Magnavox speaker. I'm using a transistor radio to uh, drive this speaker. It's uh, set on FM 88.5. I have a cord that plugs into the earphone jack, and the other end of this cord plugs into a repurposed watch box. Inside this repurposed watch box is a uh, step-down transformer, uh, which I use to impedance match with the R3 horn speaker. And it plugs into the input here. The uh, R3 speaker uh, utilizes uh, electromagnet that requires 6 volts to drive it. It pulls uh, between 3 quarters and 1 ampere current. If I remove the power to the electromagnet, you can still hear the speaker, but it'd be quite subdued. I'm going to remove the power, and uh, if you listen real, you listen real careful, you'll be able to hear a subdued sound. In addition, when I remove the uh, power cord, you'll notice a spark because of the current draw. With the electromagnet energized with that 6 volts, uh, the sound is quite a bit louder. I'm going to set the camera down momentarily uh, so I can open up the watch box and show you the uh, step-down transformer. This is the inside of the uh, repurposed watch box. I have a cardboard cover to protect the, uh, the fine wiring uh, uh, that connects to the, uh, the transformer. This cover here keeps the uh, cords I store inside the box uh, from uh, breaking these little wires here. The uh, step-down audio transformer I purchased from Radio Shack. It's about three dollars. We'll put the cover back. Again, this is my Magnavox R3 speaker, early 1920s vintage, almost 90 years old.